I have to confess to you that I haven't thoroughly followed their foreign proceedings. So I, I'm not exactly aware of some of the outcomes like you're mentioning. But yes, um, a country has to make calculations, um, you know, in criminal, not just in criminal, but in civil proceedings as well. There's something called mitigation of losses, usually in civil proceedings. And um, mitigation of losses or cutting, cutting your losses. Um, it's, it's, it's a legal remedy which, is, which makes it incumbent on a party who, while, while, while entitled to make certain claims, can decide to cut his losses by ensuring that whatever he can save, or as much as he can save, he saves that. So indeed, it could have been open to Ghana um, to have made that claim if the option was available. As I indicated, I really haven't followed thoroughly, so I can't make those factual statements. But yes, if other countries have made those claims and they, they have received certain payouts, and if the factual circumstances in terms of Ghana are similar, then of course Ghana could have, um, Ghana could have pursued that. The United States is a common law country, and therefore, substantially, our legal principles are similar. My expectation is that the mitigation of losses and uh, you know, the cutting back on losses in proceedings in which parties are allowed to, to make certain claims in lieu of other proceedings, I expect that in the US, um, that must have been available, and therefore, Ghana could have taken those chances, again, if the factual circumstances were open, given that I really haven't followed. Um, this, is, this is a redacted report which means there are certain things that have been hidden from us that we do not know. Um, and I can understand if you are dealing with the US State Department, if you are dealing with the UK SFO, if you are dealing with Airbus, as we understand that they made contact with all of these entities, including Airbus itself, um, except that Airbus declined on, on some very good reasons for them that they have submitted to this judgment and there are conditions to what they have submitted to. So they were not willing to participate any further with anybody else who wanted to do anything. Apart from if they had access, you have access to the judgment, you simply use it. But do you agree with the uh, special prosecutor, and people are raising issue with this, when he says that, um, I read from... Paragraph 5.2. Um, okay, so paragraph 5.0 going. OSP investigations. Notwithstanding the definitive pronouncement by the UK and the US courts on the accepted culpability of Airbus beyond reasonable doubt for bribery in relation to the sale to Ghana of C295 aircraft, it was imperative that criminal investigations be carried out by relevant Ghanaian authorities for several reasons. First, the relevant investigative authorities in Ghana did not participate in the investigations in relation to the acts that referred to Ghana. The president's 2nd February 2020 referral to the OSP is testament that Ghana officially became aware of the global investigations into the conduct of Airbus by the SFO, the DOJ, and DOS, and the PNF, after the fact, and after the coordinated 31st January 2020 judicial pronouncement. Here is the, the explanation the OSP gives. The UK and the US judicial decisions only establish criminal culpability in the context of the laws of the two jurisdictions it does not automatically follow that the acts accepted as proved beyond reasonable doubt in those jurisdictions amount to criminal offenses in the reckoning of Ghanaian law. To rely solely on the UK and US decisions without more as proof of criminal capability would be akin to seeking to enforce the criminal laws of the UK and the US in Ghana, which is impermissible. Therefore, the UK and U.S. court decisions cannot of themselves be of the only index of proof <coughs> sorry, of criminality in Ghana. That is to say, the Republic cannot hope to successfully mount criminal prosecution solely on the back of the two foreign court decisions. It has to be shown beyond reasonable doubt that the acts amounted to criminal offenses in Ghana he says again that 
The above detailed account of the outcome of the investigations and court decisions in the UK and US shows that the deferred, deferred prosecution agreements did not include and cover the reference individuals. The agreed settlements were reached by the UK and US authorities with Airbus only. Indeed, the UK court stated in paragraph 6 of its decision that the deferred prosecution agreements provided a mechanism by which an organization, being a body corporate, a partnership or an, an unincorporated association, but not an individual, can avoid prosecution for certain economic offenses through an agreement with the prosecuting authority. Similarly, the US DPA, that's Deferred Prosecution Agreement regime, provides no prosecution against protection, against prosecution of any individual, regardless of their affiliation with Airbus. Finally, it seems that Airbus accepted criminal culpability for bribery for itself and also vicariously on behalf of the reference individuals, including its employees, agents, business partners, and Ghanaian officials, and that the reference individuals appeared not to have been direct subjects of the investigation by the UK and US authorities and were not afforded opportunity, if they were so minded, to take it, to explain their actions and to present exculpating evidence, if any. Do you agree? Uh, well, these are strict matters of law. So it's, it's not even subject to an opinion. And the principles are these. Number one, foreign judgments are not automatically applicable in Ghana. For foreign judgments to be applicable in Ghana, like many other jurisdictions, usually they are regulated by what is called mutual recognition of judgment and enforcement of judgment acts. In Ghana, I'm certainly not aware, but you know, I'm not aware there's a recognition of judgment between, say, Ghana and the U.S. courts. What that means is that in the absence of such recognition and enforcement of judgment, a foreign judgment in Ghana it is only as good as, one, an allegation outside of courts, and two, evidence when, when led in courts or exhibited in, in the proceedings or in particular in criminal proceedings or civil proceedings, <laughs> was so exhibited and... Did you, did you lose Professor Bochi? Uh, I, I think we lost him. Uh, but uh, I suppose that will be sufficient for now. Thank you very much, uh, Professor Bochi. Unless it's